Now let's take a look at some practical examples for using patterns to do replacements. If we move over to our text editor and let's set up our default pattern matching variable using the here document syntax that we learnt earlier on. So that's going to be the parts that will separate the string out from the rest of the script. And our string in this case is going to be some code, HTML code. Very simple stuff. And it's going to say it's going to include some links. I'm just going to put one link and then another And here are some very basic links for some resources for checking out about basic HTML stuff and also looking for resources of Perl. Really, it's just some dummy text that we're going to use to do our pattern replacement. Now, this is a real practical example of the kind of thing that regular expressions make into a breeze and would be a nightmare without them. What well, our task here, our theoretical task, is to take this piece of HTML and turn it into something that can be read in a plain text format. The reason that I had to do this kind of thing, albeit in a much more complex way, was the delivery of HTML emails versus the text version, which also had to go out to people who were not able to receive HTML. So what we needed to do was to take the links and a whole lot of other HTML code, but we won't go into that now, and turn them into a much more friendly way of showing them within the body of the text.